hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here and what we have here this follows when we have a raised to power m minus n which is something as a raised to power m over a raised to power n at this here what we have becomes 5 raised to power x over 5 squared equals to 30 on this side Okay, next step here. I also write this as 5 raised to the power x over 5 squared 5 times 5, that's 25, then equals to 30 over 1 here. The next step here, we cross multiply. That is 5 raised to the power x times 1, that's the same thing as 5 raised to the power x, then equals to 30 times 25. Then, next step here. We take the log on both sides. That is, here we have log 5 raised to the power x equals to log 30 times 25 here. Watch this video to the end. Give it a thumbs up, put your comment, share the video, and also subscribe. The next step here we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m. That is, here. What we have becomes x log 5 equals to log 30 times 25. The next step here, we divide both side by log 5. That is, divide this side by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5, which implies here log 5 cancelled each other. Now we have x equals to log 30 times 25 over log 5. Then, yeah, and what we have, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this same thing as log a plus log b. That is, this follows what we have here and becomes x equals to log 30 plus log 25 over log 5. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 30 over log 5 plus log 25 over log 5. Then from here, we can write 25 as 5 times 5, and that's 5 squared. That is, yeah, what we have becomes x equals to log 30 over log 5 plus log 5 squared over log 5. Then here we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here, then what we have becomes x equals to log 30 over log 5 plus 2 log 5 over log 5, which implies here log 5 cancelled each other. We have two left here. That is, yeah, what we have becomes x equals to log 30 over log 5 plus 2. The next step here, also, 30 can be expressed as 5 times 6, which implies what we have becomes x equals to log 5 times 6 over log 5 plus 2. Then this also follows the law of logarithm, and what we have becomes x equals to log 5 plus log 6 over log 5 plus 2. That is, next step here, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 5 over log 5 plus log 6 over log 5 plus 2. 
that is here log 5 cancel each other we have one left which implies x equals to 1 plus 2 then plus log 6 over log 5 that is yeah this becomes x equals to 1 plus 2 that's 3 then plus log 6 over log 5 the next step here, 6 also can be expressed as 2 times 3. And what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 times 3 over log 5. Then, yeah, this also follows the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 plus log 3 over log 5 that is here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5 then Next step here, we apply change of base here. When we have log A over log B, this same thing as log A to base B. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. That is the value of x here we have 3 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 3 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. That is, what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 3 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 then minus 2 yeah is it equals to 30 on this side then we can bring this together 3 minus 2 that's 1 oh yeah become 5 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 is it equals to 30 on this side? That is here. This follows when we have a raised to power n plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n. That is here. What we have becomes 5 raised to power 1 times 5 raised to power log 2 base 5 times 5 raised to power log 3 base 5. Is it equals to 30 on this side? Then 5 raised to the power 1 here, that's 5. And this follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a, which is equals to b. That is here, this becomes 2 times. Here we have 3. Is it equals to 30 on this side? Then 5 times 2, that's 10. 10 times 3, that's 30, equals to 30 on this side. That is, left hand side is equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 3 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. So that's why this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.